You're watching Life Intelligence. I'm Valentina and today we will be answering the question of whether or not you can tell if someone's lying by looking into their eyes and their face. So there are two opinions. One says that when a person is lying, they look away. Makes sense, kind of. They can't look at you in the eye. But the other opinion is that when they lie, in order to convince you, they're really looking in your eyes. They're making a very strong eye contact. Well, who's right? Well, let me tell you this. First of all, I'm certified as a facial action coding system specialist. So I did some research on emotional expression and suppression, especially in hierarchical kind of environments. So I had to sit and stare at thousands of faces, decoding the emotional expression or suppression. And in order to do that, I had to learn how to do the facial action coding system and take an exam and then I could do the research. So from my professional experienced opinion, <laughs> here's what I have to tell you. Um, people can look up to the right or to the left for completely different reasons, whether they're telling the truth or they're lying. They can, some people are very visual, so they'll be looking up, recollecting visually the memory, the event. Uh, some people are very auditory, so they will, when you ask them about something in the past or whatever, they will be looking to the side or down a little bit to recollect what they remember the sounds of. And some people are very um, kinesthetic, so they'll be looking in a different direction based on that. So I don't, obviously there's detail to this. I'm not divulging the detail. That's from neuro-linguistic programming. And it can be, you know, a little complicated. So this is not the subject of the video today. If that's what you're interested in, let me know in the comments and I can do another video. But just letting you know that people can be looking away from you because they're recollect recollecting memories in the form of um, visual memories, sounds, sensations. So they can be looking away for that reason. It does not mean that they are lying. Okay? So you can't take that as evidence that they are lying. On the other hand, um, there are proficient manipulators like all the ones in the cluster b personality disorders you know the narcissists the psychopaths the sociopaths you know all those ones that make great con artists they experience liars habitual liars and they're very good at holding the right amount of eye contact while they're telling you the biggest lie on the planet and and making you feel like you should totally trust them and you usually do <laughs> and you fall for whatever scam they got going on. <laughs> so somebody looking in your eyes can definitely swindle you big time. <laughs> but sometimes people are looking in your eyes and they're telling the truth. They're making a connection. They want you to believe them. That's natural. So they will make that eye contact to make the connection, to establish the bond so that, you know, you can trust them. So they can be telling the truth. They can be telling a lie and still be looking in your eyes. Obviously, you can't take the, just the way a person is looking and the way you're looking into their eyes as whether they're telling the lie or the truth. There are other body language signs that come up along with what's happening with the eyes. That if you're cognizant, aware of all that, you could kind of start feeling like something is not right. You can only use those things as red flags. I'll tell you two. I'll tell you two ways you can start suspecting that something's funny. I'm still not saying you should accuse the person of lying, but I'm saying that you should really, you should feel that as a, re as a red flag. So the two, one, the two, the two, easy ones they're, they're hard ones and they're easy ones but these two easy ones you can spot them easily one of them is when a person is saying yes with their mouth but their head is turning no and it could be tiny bits so you have to pay close attention to what they're doing so this is they want to tell you yes affirmative but their head is going no so right there red flag ding 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 pay attention 
The other one is they're very convincing verbally, they're communicating confidence, but their shoulders are doing this, or just a little shrug. They're answering a question and you see a little shrug, right arm, left arm, little shrug. It's like they're shrugging off what they're saying. <laughs> Another red flag. I'm still not saying that you should accuse them of lying, but what you should be is aware that something is not jiving. There's more to the story than what they're telling you. Maybe they just don't feel comfortable divulging the information. Maybe they're hiding something. Maybe they're giving you a partial truth. Maybe they're flat out lying. You don't know. You just know that what they're communicating is now matching what they know, which is why the body language is leaking out the difference. <laughs> so the best strategy for something like that is to uh, dig a little deeper around these subjects. Dig a little deeper. Ask more questions. See where it goes. Because if you press them a little bit, you know, you'll get more stuff. You, you'll get a better feeling for it. But also, like, within yourself, you will know. If you're just looking in the eyes, you can tell things like whether the person, you know, when they're saying something and they're not comfortable saying it, whether it's the truth, could be the truth, but let's say they're ashamed, they'll look down. So they'll kind of curtain their eyes. <laughs> they don't look at you. They put the curtain down. Their eyelids are the curtain. Um, that could be, yes, because they're lying. But that could just be because they're uncomfortable telling you what they're telling you. And there could be other reasons for why they're uncomfortable telling you what they're telling you. Um, if, uh, you know, you start seeing signs of sadness in their eyes, does, does, does the sadness... Um, match what's being discussed. Maybe there's something else going on underneath, right? Uh, maybe they get angry. You know the angry look, the scowl. Uh, they're not okay talking about this. They're getting angry with you. These are all signs of discomfort of something going on, but they're not necessarily a sign of them lying. Um... It could be, but you still don't know. So you need more information. You can get that information in other ways. Some of it from their body language, some of them from their actions, some of them from inquiring further into the subject. Um, if you start inter interrogating them too much, you know, things could turn out differently than you expect. You should be careful. Unless you're a professional and you know what you're doing and how to interrogate people. <laughs> and there's obviously a lot more body language stuff and tricks in the book. But today we're just focusing on whether or not you can tell if someone's lying just by looking in their eyes. And the answer is no, you cannot. Don't even try. <laughs> just be aware of the incongruencies and the discomfort the person is feeling and take it for just that go deeper if you like after that but no you cannot draw a sweeping conclusion that someone's lying just by looking in their eyes i am sorry to disappoint you <laughs> if you like this video give me the thumbs up it helps you to tell everybody else how great this video is <laughs> if you learned something please subscribe i appreciate you